Hello, my name's Lee. I work within the Silk Central support team, and today I'm going to talk you through the Managing Instances section within Silk Central 17.0 onwards. Managing Instances. Instances and their Silk Central services are managed through a common user interface called Instance Administration, which you can only access on the server where the Silk Central is installed using the URL localhost 19100, as you can see in the URL pasted above. You cannot access the instance administration page from a remote computer. You can perform the following actions on an instance or in the individual services. As you can see, I have three separate instances. All the details that are provided here will be the actions, the status, the name, language, version, and login URL. Just to give a brief overview, actions we can see here, we have either the play or start instance or the stop instance. Then we also have the delete instance and then the settings. The start instance and the stop instance. If you start or stop an instance, all services on the instance are stopped or started respectively. That means to say that if I press start, which this currently is running, you can see the application server, chart server and front end are all running. If I were to stop the instance, you can see here application server, chart server and front end server are all stopped also. Effectively, what you could also do is you can delete the instance. Use this option only if you're sure that the instance is not required anymore. This action does not remove the data in the database. Another thing you can see from looking at the instance administration page is the language. In the past, whenever we had an installation of Silk Central, users that perhaps maybe had different users with different languages, they would have to manually install a separate version on their machine. Silk Central 17.0 allows you to install many different instances for different languages. As you can see, I have three separate instances. One's English, one's German, and another is English. Again, moving on, the version that you can see here, I've installed Hotfix 1 17.0 to this instance administration. As you can see, one instance has the Hotfix applied, two instances, has, is still on the base 17.0. If I wanted to install the hotfix, I would just press on this and then that would update that particular instance for the hotfix. And then again, as you can see, we have the logins for each individual instance. I would just now like to talk about the maintenance mode. Before you perform instance maintenance during which a Silk Central instance is no longer accessible for your users, for example, when installing a new hotfix, or adjusting the settings of a service, you can notify your Silk Central users that the instance is under administration. So that means to say that we have a currently a running instance here. If I select stop, what this will say is you're now going to be stopping this instance. If you put it into administration mode, please select the description of why you're doing it. That means to say that Enter a notification text that users will see when they try to access Silk Central. For example, you can see here I have test purpose. And then I can add to that. That the test purpose will be back up shortly. If I select yes, that automatically puts this instance into maintenance mode. As you can see, the instance is now being stopped. It's currently in maintenance mode. If a user tries to access that URL, you can see test purpose, the instance will be back up shortly. This is the, this is the page that all users will see when they attempt to log into that particular instance when it's offline. So when you're done with the maintenance and all services are running again, deactivate maintenance mode to allow users to access Silk Central again. So we'll simply start the instance, uncheck the maintenance mode and select yes. As you can see, the instance has now been started. If a user tries to select this URL again, as you can see, now that it's back up and running, the user is able to log in to Silk Central. Another thing I would like to talk about is the settings mode. As you can see, whenever you activate the settings or the cog wheel, this will bring up three different 
three different sections. You've got maintenance, which is as we've seen before, activated the maintenance mode. When enabled, users are redirected to the maintenance page and the text on the page will be as such, as I explained before. Instance, this gives us the instance name, which is test. As you can see, test. The language used, the mode is a 64 bit or 32 bit and the current version. It also lets you know that you do have a hotfix available to upgrade as well. Then it also provides the servers. So we have the application server, chart server, and front end server. And then the port for each one. For more information about our products and for more videos, follow the links at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you.